In this video, I will teach you how to use VLOOKUP on multiple columns. We have a table here containing three fields. A field for movies, their show times, and their respective prices. What I want to do here is I want to use VLOOKUP to return the price of a particular movie on a particular show time. In this case, I want to look up Toy Story, where the show time is 18 p.m. Now, using the traditional VLOOKUP, we can only look up one column at a time. And uh, let's use the traditional VLOOKUP to see what we can return when we look up Toy Story in this table. So I'll use the syntax that is VLOOKUP, I'll look up Toy Story, which is our lookup value. The array is this range over here. Comma, we're looking at the third column. That's the column we want to return. And we want an exact match. So I'll put false as my last argument. And close parentheses, and I'll click enter. So technically, what's returned here is correct because it returned the price of Toy Story from this table. But as you can see, this traditional VLOOKUP only returned the first instance of Toy Story, that is, this value over here. This is why what we're looking for is the Toy Story that has a showtime of 18 p.m. In other words, we're looking for this instance over here. But uh, our VLOOKUP statement only returned the first instance of Toy Story and not the one that we had in mind. And this is because, as I explained earlier, VLOOKUP can only look up one column at a time. Now, the solution to this is to use a unique identifier. And to do that, we first need to create a helper column. So here's how we do this. The first step is to create a helper column, which in this case, I'll create it between column C and column D. And I'll insert a new column here. And I'll call that column helper. In this column, I will create a unique identifier that consists of a concatenation of the movie and the showtime. So here's how I'll do that. I'll put equal, I'll put the movie name, I'll put ampersand, then double quotations, hyphen, another double quotation, ampersand again, and then the movie showtime. And as you can see, this has created a unique uh, identifier uh, that could be then used and referenced in the VLOOKUP. So that's the next step that we'll do. So I'll drag this formula down to, um, uh, to cover the full range. So we have unique qualifiers for all of our values now. And now we have to just revise the VLOOKUP statement. So here's how the new VLOOKUP will look like. The new VLOOKUP will have a new lookup value which consists of the same concatenation that we did here. So I'm going to concatenate the name and time in the lookup value. So the lookup value will look like this. I'll select the name, then I'll put ampersand, double quotation, hyphen, another double quotation, ampersand, and then the time. So this is our new lookup value. And I'm gonna be looking this up in our revised table which is the helper column will be our first column. And then I'm going to be looking up the second column this time. And I also want an exact match. So I'll put false in the last argument, close parentheses and enter. So as you can see, this time the correct value has been returned. That is the um, price for Toy Story in the 18 p.m. showtime as opposed to the first instance. And uh, we were able to use our unique qualifier and our helper column in order to return exactly what we wanted and to do a VLOOKUP based on two columns instead of one. Now the same could be applied to more than two columns. If you have maybe three or four columns, all we have to do is uh, to extend the uh, unique identifier to include those extra columns as well. Of course, we have to do the same thing in the lookup value, if that's the case. And this is how we can use VLOOKUP on multiple columns 
by using a helper column and revising our lookup statements. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and also turn on your notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. Thanks and see you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.